You're listening to Catholic Chicago. Ahead, the Archdiocese of Chicago brings you programs about the people, events, and issues that touch our lives. Welcome to Catholic Chicago. Good morning and welcome to Beyond the Headlines. My name is Joyce DeRiga. I'm editor of the Chicago Catholic, and this is um, a, a time where we go beyond, beyond the headlines to talk to the people who are making the, the news in the Archdiocese. So today we have Father Juan Andrade from um, the Our Lady of the Mount Church in Cicero to talk about the arrival of three relics of Mexican martyrs from the Cristero War that are going to have a permanent home in his church. So welcome, Father. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, thanks for having me today. You're welcome. So what was really interesting to us was when you sent the email was that first, these are Mexican martyrs from the Cristero War from, which is in recent memory, right? It was in the 1920s, so it wasn't that far away. And also that it ties into a bigger <coughs> plan to renovate the church. So do you want to talk a little bit about what's going on at the church and then the what the, what the relics will, um, the role that the relics will play in the renovation? Yeah, just uh, right before the pandemic started, um, we we launched uh, the project for the renovation of our church. Um, we found some pictures uh, of how the, the church used to look like back in the 1920s. Um, so we we were in in this idea of honoring uh, the people who founded the church. But also uh, bringing back the the beauty, the environment, uh, to facilitate uh, people's prayer and 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 the way um, they they worship in, in in a beautiful environment, accordingly to the liturgy. Um, and I got this idea uh, of of putting in the new altar uh, relics as is uh, traditional in, 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 in the church. Um, I told you before that, that uh, since the very first uh, communities, especially in Rome, um, they started to celebrate uh, the Eucharist, the, the breaking of the bread on top of, of the, 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 the martyrs' uh, sepulchers. Um, so this, this uh, tradition has been kept in the church uh, for 2,000 years. Um, and since our community has changed, um, originally was founded as a national Czech uh, parish, and now the Cicero area has become um, mostly Mexican with, with a Mexican background. Um, I thought in, in, in the possibility of, of, of looking or seeking uh, for the the uh, for relics of, of Mexican martyrs just to to make the people uh, feel identified with with uh, with uh, the 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 Mexicans who are already ag acknowledged by the church uh, as an uh, examples of, of, of Christian life and, and, and Christian um, devotion um, completely to 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 our Lord, um, and obviously, I, I I looked for the most popular, uh, two of the most popular uh, martyrs um, amongst the ones we have, uh, Father Toribio Romo and and Jose Sanchez del Rio, the the, the, the teenager, um, 
thinking also uh, on 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 the fact that because of the pandemic um a lot of people have left the church or mm -hmm. or they they stopped coming to church and they have not returned so also um as a way of of promoting uh amongst the people um their their willingness to come back to church uh, perhaps by 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 coming and and saying thank you to the martyrs because they had received an special uh grace uh through their intercession i i directly um requested the this uh, uh these relics to to their the bishops that are that are in charge of, of, of the remains of these saints. And there's also Father Robles, who you have a personal devotion to, right? Can you, yeah. do you want to tell people about, I'm not sure everybody knows about the Mexican martyrs. And then I'm particularly, I've told you this, particularly fascinated with um, um, Jose Sanchez del Rio because he was a, a teenager and he, they, I mean, they, 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 they cut off the bottom of his feet because he wouldn't renounce his Catholic faith and he wouldn't renounce the Cristero's cause. And so go ahead. Do you want to tell people, introduce people to Father, all three of them? Yes. Um, I'll, 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 I'll begin with Father Robles, which I think is, is, is the less known uh, among the, the whole group of martyrs uh, we have. Father Robles is a Mexican uh, priest born in in the uh, Sierra um, area. This is the the west, the very west uh, side of, of uh, Jalisco. Um, he's a diocesan priest from Guadalajara, um, and and in his very recent years as a as, as a priest, he started to feel uh, this need. Uh, for uh, reparation against um, for reparation because of, of the sins we we commit against the sacred heart of Jesus um, he was very devoted to to the heart of Jesus um, so at, at, at the age of 27 more or less he he become he became a founder of a religious order uh, sisters of of uh, of the Eucharistic uh, heart of Jesus, um, as as they are known today, um, with the idea of of being uh, an offering, uh, a constant offering to to the Lord uh, for the for the forgiveness of of the sins of of all the church. Um, he was a pastor. He, he was a pastor also in, in the area uh, of, of the west side of Jalisco. Um, and, and he was taken uh, by, by, by the soldiers um, while, while he was celebrating the mass in, in, in secret. They, they got there uh, surprisingly, they caught Father Robles and they kept him uh, in, in, in jail on what, uh, what they, they uh, had as a jail that, that time in that town. Even despite the, uh, the efforts of, of the people uh, in, in, in that town uh, requesting Father Robles to be released, um, any permission uh, or, or uh, sorry, it was denied uh, by by the authorities. Um, so finally, he he was killed in in the middle of the, of a forest. He was hanged um, from from a tree. Um, and 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 his legacy, fortunately, his legacy uh, continued because of of the sisters um, he founded. Until this day. Um, they continue um, at, uh, offering uh, through through hospitals and schools and, and missions. Um, they they continue to to offer assistance uh, to to the poor and to the needy um, with with this very 
the specific uh, charisma, the 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 devotion uh, uh, to to the Sacred Heart of Jesus uh, present in the Eucharist. And you have this neat statue. So for folks who are listening um, on the radio, you can also download this in a podcast on YouTube. And um, our producers here are putting up some of the photos that we have. Father has a statue at Our Lady of the Mount Church. I mean, it's one of the, I got chills when I saw this statue because it's an image that Father Robles drew before he died of Jesus in the Sacred Heart. And he's holding the chalice, but he's also in his other hand extending you the Eucharist, the viewer. And it's just I mean, it's a it's a beautiful um, image of what the whole Eucharist is, you know, and and um, the that it's Jesus, it's Jesus in the Sacred Heart, and Jesus is our Lord. Um, we're going to have to take a break in a few minutes, so I want to just jump in and, and explain to people that you can go and venerate the relics right now. They're on display. <clears throat> excuse me, at Our Lady of the Mount Church, and pray before them and offer, you know. Um, ask for their intercessions and then they're later on going to be embedded in the altar and um, we can talk a little bit about more of this with father but that was one of the stipulations from the father tribio romo's cause and um not cause it's it's he's been canonized and then <laughs> so jose sanchez del rio that they still be on public display for for folks to venerate them and for devotion so it's very unique in this case which is fascinating to us because like you said, Father, embedding relics in the altar is is tradition, but it's usually on the top of the altar where only usually the priests or some of the liturgical ministers can see the relics. Well, these are going to be on display in a glass case in the front of the the new altar when it's dedicated, so everybody will be able to see, it, which I thought was super, super neat. Um, so, okay, this is Beyond the Headlines, and I'm Joyce DeRiga from the Chicago Catholic, and we're talking to Father Juan Andrade from the Our Lady of the Mount Church in Cicero about the new relics from the Mexican martyrs that he has um, brought back for his church, and we'll be right back to continue talking about it. Catholic Charities, we fight hunger in Chicago throughout the year. Our six regional offices in Cook and Lake Counties work together to offer sit-down and to-go meals to anyone in need. We deliver meals to those who are homebound, and our eight food pantries offer three to four days of food supplies based on household size. Participants in these programs have the opportunity to learn about other Catholic charity services that strengthen individuals, families, and their communities. The challenges for those dealing with food insecurity are especially great during the winter months. To learn how you can help those who are hungry in your neighborhood, visit catholiccharities.net or call 312-655-7525. That's 312-655-7525. Thank you for your generosity. I feel special. <laughs> I feel great. I got good grades. We've seen a huge surge in our kids now meeting or exceeding grade level. Come check us out. You may have never thought we were an option before. Ancestry and genealogy are more important every day. People all over the world are wanting to learn more about their family heritage for personal and for health reasons. At Catholic Charities, we are hearing from adults who lived for a brief time at St. Vincent's Orphanage, the wonderful life-affirming agency that operated out of our headquarters for 91 years, serving thousands of women, children, and families until it closed in 1972. 
our post-adoption services help adults who want to learn more about their experience at St. Vincent's. Our compassionate staff members provide whatever family background information they can offer, along with support and reunion services. To learn more, call 312-655-7093. That's 312-655-7093. The spirit of St. Vincent's lives on in the inspiring stories that continue to emerge today. Welcome back to Beyond the Headlines. My name is Joyce DeRiga. I'm editor of the Chicago Catholic, and this is the time when we take a closer look behind the headlines to see to talk to the people who are making the news in the archdiocese. I also want to plug the paper. Um, you can follow us at chicagocatholic.com. There's links to social media there. We also have a newsletter that we put out a couple times a week, and you can subscribe to us for just $25 a year, and that goes a long way to support our ministry. So today we're talking to Father Juan Andrade from Our Lady of the Mount Parish in Ciceros because he has secured three relics of Mexican martyrs for his um, church. So before we went to the break, we were talking about who these men are. So can you talk about the, the two most popular that you have that are that's a really good prize to have, not a prize, but it's a, a blessing to have the relics of these two men. Well, one was a boy, but go yeah. ahead. Yeah, the, the second one is, is Father Toribio Rom, Romo. Um, now he's become uh, the patron saint for the immigrants, not only Mexicans. I, I have heard stories uh, from pre people from South America, also with a deep uh, devotion to, to Father Toribio. And, and around uh, Father Toribio's uh, story um, regarding to, to his uh, the martyrdom um we we find we can find a lot of, of other stories from people who have uh, sought coming into this country um testifying that that uh, they they were helped by father toribio during during their uh, journey into this country um it, I, I, I forgot to say before that uh, Father Robles and Father Toribio also, um, the, beyond the fact of, of becoming martyrs, the, they were faithful priests uh, that, that, that uh, even though the circumstances, the hardships they were facing uh, during the persecution in Mexico, uh, they did not abandon their people. They did not um, quit. Uh, their call uh, to remain serving the people, serving uh, the faithful of God. Um, Father Toribio, uh, it's it's uh, also said that he was a very sensitive uh, person with a very uh, passionate uh, heart, very assiduous uh, to prayer, um, very uh, passionate for the celebration of the eucharist um i i read somewhere that that that, that he used to say every day every day um lord don't leave me uh one day we, without saying mass without embracing you in 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 holy communion um father toribio uh was killed at, at a very young uh age age um he was almost 28 when when he was killed um and and uh throughout throughout the 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 years um we 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 can find a lot of accounts um uh, of Toribio's miracles uh, um especially from undocumented people as i said coming into this country um and the third one is uh jose sanchez del rio um very well known because of his age um he, he was um uh, practically uh the 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 flag bearer 
into the the group of, of, of in which uh, one of his brothers uh, was fighting, uh, defending their faith. Um, he was not allowed to to manage uh, any kind of arms because of his age, uh, but he wanted to defend uh, the the right to to exercise uh, freely uh, the the Catholic faith, the Christian faith. Um, he was and at 14, some point, right? like that's what we have in the story. He was just fourteen. Yeah, yeah. he he so was young. he was yeah. four, very young, and um, he he had an, an heroic act because during during a battle, uh, the the chief, the captain of of, of, of the the group, um, his his horse was was killed. So um, obviously he was in danger. Uh, so Jose Sanchez offered his uh, uh, his own uh, horse uh, to to the captain so he could run away and 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 remain safe. And it was when when Jose uh, Jose Lito um, was caught. And um, he was kept for a couple of, of, of days in, inside of a church. Uh, in those those days, um, the the army, the Mexican army, uh, they they converted a lot of churches into um, stables, in, into places uh, to to um, to sleep and 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 to eat, uh, and also as as a, as a improvised uh, jails uh, Joselito was was kept in there until uh, they they took him out to the cemetery um, and and he was killed mm. he was forced uh, several times uh, the, the, his biographers say that he was offered uh, even with a good education, um, just just for denying uh, the, the 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 faith in in Jesus, um, and he said no all the time. Um, but what else can I say? Uh, that his godfather was was the one who who took him. Uh, to jail, uh, ironically, yeah, uh, yeah, ironically, uh, a guy with the uh, name uh, last name Picasso, like like the painter, um, was the one who, who in in the army who who caught Jose Sanchez del Rio. He offered him to to register him in in a prestigious uh, military school, for example or even sending him to the United States and, and get a good education. Um, but uh, the boy refused um, to these uh, offers, offerings. Um, oh, they're tremendous. Because he, Go ahead, sorry. Yeah. No, he knew that by doing this, he, he would be uh, denying his faith, uh, his pledge uh, to Jesus Christ. Well, and that's what's, it's super inspiring. And so what I don't want us to, re I mean, we could talk about these three um, people for the like two hours, but I want to talk too about the, the importance. So the relics are going to be installed in the new altar for the church. And with that comes catechesis. I mean, I've been doing this a long time and I didn't realize that there is a catechetical portion to the, um, the liturgy of the dedication. So we have about five minutes left. If we can, if you can, kind of help us understand um, a little bit about the rite and the importance in, of the altar in this in the liturgy. I know yes, we can't talk uh, about that in five minutes, but if you could try, <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best. Um, uh, during during the rite of consecration, the bishop is to um, anoint the the new altar. The new altar is a, also a symbol, a sign of Jesus Christ, who offered himself as a victim, as as a, as, as as an altar, um, and and 
right in in that moment the relics of of those who have uh, offered their lives um, for love of Jesus Christ are to be placed in the altar. But uh, before getting to the the celebration that is celebrated presided by a bishop, um, the ritual says that it is important to to offer the people some sort of catechesis so the people uh, get to know who are the ones uh, the relics uh, uh, of, of the ones uh, who are being uh, placed into the altar so when we get to that point we we still are under the renovation works uh, but when 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 we finished obviously before the the consecration um we have planned a, a whole week for for uh, for uh, pre pre preparing the people and explaining them on the importance of the ritual how the ritual is is done um what the ritual means and also uh, we will dedicate uh one day for each one of of the martyrs so the people can get the opportunity so we all can get the opportunity uh, to get to know them better uh, with with not only with the fact that they they were killed because of their faith in in jesus christ but also to know more details about their their daily day by day uh life um and 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 how their faith uh brought them to the point of 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 uh, sacrificing themselves offering their lives for the love of jesus christ jesus uh, christ the king i'm excited i'm excited for we're hoping that as i mentioned to you we're hoping to come out and um cover some of those nights um because i think that as i told you when we came out for the story is that you know as the, one of the beautiful things many many beautiful things about our our faith is we don't do anything arbitrarily in the liturgy like the the altar means something the ambo means something you know and i get choked up but so being able to help people understand it better i think also enhances their experience of the liturgy and their experience encounter with christ not to mention you know you talked about the beauty the renovation i mean we, we saw part of it and it, it's beautiful and we just covered yesterday uic newman chapel did a renovation and it was all about capturing that beauty and how beauty elevates your worship and beauty elevates the soul and that encounter with christ and so it's all super exciting. I'm glad you're. Um, I'm glad you're doing. I mean, doing all this, and that you went and secured the or got the permission for the relics for these three saints. And again, just to the listeners or anyone who's watching on YouTube, the relics of Saints Tribio Romo, uh, Father Jose Maria Robles, and um, Jose Luis Sanchez. Jose. Jose. Yes. What did I say? Apologies. Yeah, you're right. Okay, and. Um, uh Joselito, you call it, that's what the that's how you say for uh Jose is, is how, how is how the people call him now uh, Joselito, okay. which is little little jose in not to yeah. fair translation yeah and they're on display right now for private prayer and then eventually though once the new altar is ready and the renovation is finished they'll go in the altar and you'll still get to see them so thank you for yes. joining us, everyone. Th Father, thanks so much for everything that you're doing there. And again, this is uh, my name is Joyce Deriga. I'm editor of Chicago Catholic. This is Beyond the Headlines. Thank you for joining us. And you can visit us online at chicagocatholic.com. And have a gentle and joy-filled day. Bye-bye.